Alright guys, I come to talk to you one more time about chaining, as soon as some people are still finding it a bit difficult. I'm at spring path at the moment, so I'm going to stand in the middle and press Y. Alright, so, I don't care what I'm chaining. Alright, Graveler, okay. So this is why I have Venusaur up front. Alright, watch closely. Okay, the furthest one was in about three, four, maybe four. So this one was safe because there was four patches of grass and this one was far away but it wasn't on the edge. Okay. Okay, this time there was only three that I could see, so I'm gonna reset. Okay, notice when I reset, I don't run into any patches, any of those patches of grass. I'm just running side to side here. So all I'm doing. When I think I've got 50 steps, I'm just going to hit Y again. Alright, let's go again. See, now those two patches of grass right next to me were too close. So, I'm going to reset again. You don't want to do patches of grass that are too close to each other. You don't want to do patches of grass that are on the edge at all. And you don't want to do it if there's less than four. So, that's the basic ground rules, okay? Okay, four patches of grass. Wasn't on the edge. Still a graveler. Okay, three patches of grass this time. So I'm going to reset again. Alright. Four patches of grass this time. Still a grappler. No problem chaining yet. Three patches of grass this time, so I'm going to reset. I knew that was coming. Okay, so we're going to keep going. So I'm on a chain of four grapplers at the moment. Now you can see a shiny on like your first chain. Okay, and this is probably gonna break my chain because it was too close. Nope, still fine. Remember, you don't want a patch of grass that's close, you don't want one that's on the edge, you don't want one if they're close together. Alright. That's very nice. Well done, Venusaur. Again, three patches of grass and they were all on the edge, so I'm gonna reset again. Keep going. Yeah, bring a lot of repels. I have 55 with me. Okay. Four patches of grass, but two were close together, and they were pretty much on the edge. So just going to reset again. Sometimes you'll need to reset after not even going for one Pokemon, but you know what? If you're on a chain of 39, you don't really want to risk it. As soon as you get to 40 on your chain, you can um, you can just keep using the Poker Radar until a patch of grass shines. You don't have to look for every one and risk your chain. Uh, this is too close. That was in my one area. It's going to break. Oh no, still going. The uh, two were really close together. This will probably break my chain. This, this is things you shouldn't do. Damn it, I'm trying to get my chain to break to show you. It's not happening. Okay, now all of those were close together, so there's no way I'm going to do that. You just got to keep going. You just got to have patience. I'm on a chain of seven grapplers at the moment. You just got to have patience. If you don't have patience, I recommend you go and get a Game Shark or use some cheats. I really don't care. Um, just, you know, if you want to shiny that badly, then you'll chain. And it can be frustrating because sometimes your chain does break for no reason at all. But, you know, it's just life. Okay, this will probably break because there was two next to each other. Yep. See, two next to each other, and just because I didn't reset, I lost my chain. 
That is why you should chain. Okay. So. I bet I don't have it. Nope. So, just to cover the basics, you don't start your chain here. You don't start your chain here. You don't start your chain here. You don't start your chain anywhere here. Anywhere here. Anywhere here. Especially not here. That's just stupid. Go to a big patch of grass. Uh, I'm in spring path at the moment. Another good place to go if you fly to Heart Home City. Uh, come down from Heart Home City. Oh, shut up. <sighs> yeah, come down from Heart Home. Come down here. Um, at night time, these guards will battle you. So, uh, be careful. Yeah, just come on down here. And here's another great patch to, uh, sh chain in. See, there's one there, one over there, one just there, and one right on the edge. So, let's see what the one on the edge is, because I haven't changed yet, it's fine. Staraptor, usually the ones on the edge are the good ones. Okay, so now watch carefully. And I go to this one on the edge, and my chain should break. If not, I'm extremely lucky. I'm extremely lucky then. So, how dare you. Damn Straptor. Alright. One patch of grass I saw then. So definitely, this is why you shouldn't go for the ones at the edge, because you can't see the grass surrounding you, so you don't know where it will be. And if there's a shiny patch, you could miss it. And you don't want to miss a shiny patch, otherwise you'll be beating yourself for life. No one, like, there was two close to each other. And one wasn't, so I'm going to keep going. I'm only on a chain of two, so chances are something like that won't break my chain. But as you get more and more chained, the more delicate the chain will become. Kind of like a long... Think of a chain as a long stick. You have a small stick, it's quite strong. As the stick gets longer and longer, it becomes weaker because it's got more surface area, if that makes sense. So, you want to be careful. Okay, two right on the edge and there was only three, so not going to do it. You just want to keep going and going and going and going and going and going until you really can't bother to chain anymore and you really feel like you want to beat the crap out of your computer and then you'll eventually run into a shiny. Okay, only three patches of grass there. So... You really do have to be this picky about it. It may take a long time. But if you want a shiny, I wouldn't bitch about it. So, just keep going. Okay, one near the edge. There were two next to each other, so it's probably not a good idea. But like I said, the change just started, so should be fine. All I saw was one patch of grass then. So, obviously not going to go for that. So, gonna reset my chain again. This is why you need a lot of repels. Okay. That was nice. It wasn't on the edge, though. They were quite separate. That was the ideal patch pattern you wanna get. It was none of them were together, none of them were on the edge. It was really nice. That is horrible. All three of them were on the edge. And there was only three. So definitely a no-no. Just want to keep going. Uh, with the Poke Radar, uh, you can catch Pokemon you normally can't as well. You see some Pokemon that you can't normally find, which is awesome. Alright. Okay, none of them were remotely near the edge. None of them were very close together. So, another Straptor. A 
Okay, so now these two are really close together. I'm betting it breaks my chain. Okay, see? That is why you can't go for patches of grass that are close together. Even if you get two here, and like one here, and like one here, just still do not do it because it will break your chain. So hopefully you guys will understand a bit more from that. Um, yeah. So good luck with the chaining. Um, I hope the video helps. It should. It's my third one of chaining. So uh, anyway, good luck. And um, I'll see you on another video. Actually, next I'm doing a video on ch uh, EV training. So uh, join me for that.